to say, isn't one of your teams being out hustled? Yeah, Oklahoma's a very good basketball team. I mean, they're ranked, and, you know, have won a lot of basketball games. They're deep. They have a lot of people that can score. They have a great point guard. You know, they have all the pieces you need to be successful. So, you know, this will be a tough game. Did that sort of lead to maybe the rebound? I think you got out rebounded by 11. You don't often see that in your teams. So yeah, I mean, just hustle. they have like, uh, I think there's four of them average seven, eight rebounds apiece. So, I mean, their whole team is very physical and rebound. They have some people to try to back you down, even their guards. And, you know, they have some shooters. And, and like I said, their point guard makes them go. Just talking to uh, Crystal and Asia about, you know, guarding against the fact that this is a team that's going to come in looking for revenge. We talked about this last week with Oklahoma, too. But, I mean, how, I guess – is it, I, I, don't, I don't know how I really want to phrase this, but how do you guard against a team that's this good that knows that you know it, it, you let one get away on its own court? Well, I told the girls yesterday, it's a big game. This is a big game for seeding uh, for both teams. So they're going to come in here and play extremely hard. You know, I think both teams know that, that we're probably in the NCAA, but this is all about seeding right now. And they're ahead of us. Uh, when I look at what's projected in that, they're, they're getting a higher seed than we are right now. So. We, I told the girls that this is this is a big game. This is they're gonna come in here looking to win. We we gotta have this game. This is the biggest game of the year and uh, against a quality basketball team. I think a word I heard thrown out there from Crystal was respect. Do you, do you use that a little bit with them for motivation? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I've used that. I use that all the time. Uh, you know, look uh, for the fact we weren't ranked for a long time. Uh, that they were even saying even though we beat them one time and have less losses. They're still seating them ahead of us. So, you know, that there's a lot of respect factor there. And, uh, you know, these girls, we need to come in here with a, a chip on our shoulder tomorrow night. And, and, and you know, we have a, something to prove. Yeah, well, Stephen, you still have a chance to win the, the league championship regular season. Where does that fit in, if you think? I mean, you know, it's not the ultimate goal yeah. yet. And it's something that you haven't done. Yeah, I mean, that's great. Well, I'm like you, I really haven't thought about that much. Uh, to me, it's always been, you know, making the NCAA, trying to get a high seed and have an opportunity to advance in the NCAA tournament. Now, along that way, if you have an opportunity to win the, your conference, that's great. And, you know, we're in a good position right now. Uh, so, you know, we'll see what happens. You've always been in the balance. I mean, really, going to the season, there's no reason yeah. to really think about that. Right. Uh, is that don't you anymore? Not, not being able to accept that somewhere in the future of the I, I, I don't think so. I, I, I don't think so. And again, I don't, you know, I don't put a lot of stock in that kind of thing. You know, what, my job is to make NCAA tour and try to advance the NCAA tour and win as many games as we can win. And uh, along the way, if you have opportunities to win the, the conference championship or the conference tournament or you know that. That's great because you have to win some of those games in order to get to the NCAA. So, you know, it, it, it's exciting to, at this time of the year to be in contention, you know, for the conference championship. But uh, that, that's really not our main goal right now. You're anything more from the medical.